everyone and welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Alina. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make mutton palau. Now, this is quick and easy. Does not need a lot of time for marination, just 30 minutes of marination time and that's good. What's interesting about this palau is that I'm going to make it using green peas and potatoes. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in and let's get started. So first, let me show you the ingredients that we need to marinate the mutton. I'll later show you the ingredients that we need for the palau. So for, to marinate the mutton, I've taken one kilogram of mutton here. This is with bone on. Some yogurt, around um, half a cup of yogurt. Some chopped cilantro. Salt to taste. Two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. Two teaspoons of some coriander powder. One and a half teaspoon of some cumin seed powder. One whole lime. 2 teaspoons of red chilli powder depending on how spicy you like it a teaspoon of some turmeric so I'm going to add in the yogurt now to the mutton the coriander powder cumin seed powder red chilli powder a little bit of some turmeric powder ginger and garlic paste some chopped cilantro and some salt to taste Just squeeze in some lime juice. So now with neatly washed hands, I'm just going to marinate all the ingredients with the mutton. So I mix all the ingredients with the mutton well. I'm going to let this rest now for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm going to pressure cook this. So now for now, let this rest for 30 minutes. So the mutton has marinated for half an hour. To this, I'm going to add in two cups of water. Just mix it in. I haven't added any oil at this stage. I'm now going to cover this with a lid and pressure cook it till the mutton is done. It might take around 6 whistles approximately. I want the mutton to be well cooked. To make the palau into a pan, I'm going to add in around 3 tablespoons of some desi ghee. Once the ghee is hot, I'm going to add in few uh, green cardamom, few green, uh, cloves and some um, Fennel seeds, three bay leaves, few pieces of some cinnamon stick, and a teaspoon of some cumin seeds. Once this starts cluttering, I'm going to add in three sliced onions. I'm going to saute this. I want the onions to get a brown color, so to speed up the process, I'll add in some salt. So the onions have changed color. At this stage, now I'm going to add in ginger garlic paste. I'm going to add in two heaped teaspoons of it. I'm going to saute this till the raw flavor goes away. Now I'm going to add in five slit green chilies. I've chopped two medium sized tomatoes. I'm going to add this in as well. One cup of chopped mint leaves and one cup of coriander leaves. I'm going to add this in now. Just keep stirring it till this is done. I want the leaves to cook down well. The coriander and mint have cooked down well. Now I'm going to add in two chopped potatoes, a cup of green peas, two teaspoons of some garam masala powder. So I've separated the mutton after it's cooked from the stock and I just removed the pieces aside. So I'll add in the pieces now. Mix it all in well. I soaked 5 cups of basmati rice for 20 minutes in water and after draining it out, I'm just going to add this now. I'm going to lightly mix it in, making sure that the grains don't break. So I've got 2.5 cups of stock from the mutton that I've cooked. I'm just going to add this in now. I have with me around 7 cups of coconut milk that I've mixed with water, like thick coconut milk that I've mixed with water. I'm going to add that in as well. If you don't want to use coconut milk, you can always use water or even chicken or vegetable stock. Lightly mix in everything. At this stage, you can check for the seasoning and if you think you need to add more salt, you can add it in now. So once it starts to get a slight boil, boil I'm going to put on the lid and let this cook on medium-high flame for around 15 minutes or till the rice is completely done. It's been 15 minutes since the palau has been cooking. It's done. I turned off the flame and it smells amazing. 
I'll just drizzle in like a teaspoon of ghee. I'll cover this with a lid now and let this rest for five minutes. After five minutes, I'll transfer this into a serving plate. Mutton palau is ready and it smells so good. You can serve this along with some raita or any salon of your choice. There are a few recipes on my site. If you want, I'll leave a link for you down in the description. If you like the video, then please do give it a thumbs up and also do share the recipe with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys next week with another new recipe. Until then, bye!